Hello everyone and welcome to the review of the Wunder 360 camera. Uh, this is also called the C1 model. Uh, this is of course a 360 camera which has two lenses. Uh, you may know this design from another camera brand. It's very similar as uh, the design but uh, the difference is stopped there because this thing is about two times cheaper and has a lot of features, very useful features that work very nice. Uh, before uh, showing you each of those features working. I'm just going to talk about them just a bit. So this camera has a IMU gyroscope which will uh, self-level the image and it also works as a stabilizer for the image. Uh, it has image tracking by using the phone app so you can place this camera somewhere and it will track an object. Uh, it has a recording function that uh, uses 360 video and you can pan and convert it to a regular uh, let's say 2D video and that is amazing and you can do all that stuff with their mobile phone app which I'm going to show you right away. So the camera has a maximum resolution of 3K when recording video it also has a feature to record 60 frames per second if you want fluid action but the resolution decreases and will take 4k resolution photos so those are the main specs and of course it uses gyro up to the maximum resolution so you always have stabilized video so the camera itself it's very compact very easy very easy to handle and it has a nice design it has a small screen here and I'm going to remove the lens protection foil from this lens and from the other lens. So the camera has two buttons here, one for the menu, one for powering up, uh, the record button or shutter button and the wireless button. It comes with a standard screw mount so you can use this on a tripod or on a selfie stick or things like that and the way it's uh, made and uh, weight placement. This can also stay on the table without using other accessories. Now let's see what else is in the box. So I'm going to take this foam off and there are two smaller boxes inside. One white and the other one is black. So this one has one cable which looks like that and this is a regular jack and a micro USB port. Uh, I haven't read the manual, uh, I haven't looked up all the specs, but I believe that this is an audio input cable, so you may be able to add an external microphone to the camera to improve sound quality, and a regular micro USB cable for charging and downloading the media from the camera. Of course it has a strap, a wrist strap, and this must be probably a manual. And yes, it's a small booklet which comes in several languages, of course, the first one is English and by the look of it, it's not only well written in very good English, but also has a lot of useful information and the menu explained and even the app for the mobile phone is explained here and says something about firmware update so things uh, look to be good of course in my pack I have got this small badge and a sticker but last but not least I've got this which is very useful it's a mini flexible adjustable tripod and this thing is metal and it's very nice because it offers good stability because it has a bit of weight so the camera can be easily installed here on the screw and you can take this with you. You can even use it as a small grip or handle and use the camera like that. And I'm just going to install it right away. And there you go. I have a handle or a tripod or a support. And there's something else inside. Yes, it's a microfiber cloth, wonder, microfiber cloth, and this is very useful, this, this pouch, because this camera has two big lenses, one in front, one in the back, or the other way around, this is the back and this is the front, and the lenses don't have a 
cap or protection so if you take this camera with you it's very easy to scratch the lenses and this comes in handy this will really protect the lens when you are traveling with it the camera works with a micro USB card which is not included I have inserted my own here so you need to get one of those if you want to use the camera and now I'm ready to power it on so I'm going to press this power button here and keep it pressed and there you go hello and this is the photo mode and by using this menu switch here or this menu here or no this is slip uh, button this one the top button it switches to working modes so you have timer video looping time lapse 60 frames per second mode and video mode which is 3k resolution and it's displayed there and it has this icon here for wireless and a battery level which are also very useful you can you see you can use this camera actually without a mobile phone if you want to use it like that because it has this tiny screen here and you can program it but that's not all because if you hold the menu button pressed for a few seconds you actually have settings a me settings menu inside and you can cycle the settings there and there are plenty of available things to change or adjust and this camera also has two band wireless it uses regular 2.4 and it also 5 uh, 5 uh, g wireless for faster speeds this button here will turn off the wireless in case you want to save power and that will also put the camera in usb mode and in usb mode you can connect the camera to your mobile phone through a usb cable and use this as a streaming device uh, it will display on your mobile phone and you can do a live video on youtube or facebook or things like that directly through the usb cable now i'm going to open the wunder app for android and i'm going to show you why this app is really nice of course there are already some samples here but i'm going to connect to my camera and there you go you have live video and now the fun starts so I'm going to place the camera somewhere here and if you look in the app you can see me uh, here in the video and now the gyro comes into play and if I take the camera and start spinning it around you can see that I'm always focused on the screen of my mobile phone and even if I tilt the camera like that roll it around you can only observe just a minor space there a line where the two images from the two cameras meet up but that's all so this thing is really amazing uh, does this thing by its own and that's where the gyro of this camera comes into place but i'm going to show you this actually with a video example uh taken with the camera so you can assess that in uh, real image quality not just by looking at the screen of my mobile phone another great feature is the video stabilization of the camera and uh, regardless of how you move around or uh, move the camera around even if you rotate it around it's active or tilt it uh, the video will always be uh, stable and together combined with the technology of reframing, you can get rather smooth and different video footage. So the uh, shape will be eliminated while you can always adjust the camera to have the angle that you wish to film at. Which is yet another very nice feature of this camera. So that was the first example with uh, this uh, gyro thing that stabilizes the camera and also uh, does uh, the image locking and as you can see it's very nice, it's a very good feature and very useful. You can play along with the camera and the image will point in the way you want it to. Going back to the app, the app has a lot of things here. It has a mode where you can do a very 
wide fisheye picture uh, with fisheye distortion but it's very wide it's very nice it has the planet mode which can do tiny planet artistic things like that and of course regular uh, picture with just some slight distortion the gyro is the uh, gyro uh, I don't know how you call this it uses the phone gyro to move the image and you can look around just by tilting the phone the VR is for using uh, goggles it will split the image into and create some kind of 3d image of course you also get settings for the timer for the rate interval and loop time that's for taking pictures and things like that uh, moving on to the settings you get a lot of things here uh, camera status it will show you various stuff including uh, the firmware uh, and this thing has got some firmware updates recently which improves some things like image quality uh, you have wireless settings, buzzer, this camera has a small beeper, you can enable or disable it so you know when you change settings that you get a feedback from the camera, it has an auto sleep function, light frequency so you get the settings and options that are found on usual action cameras just that this thing has 360 degree video and related settings about that story so I have exited the app, I'm going back to the camera and of course you have this slide option here you can switch the working mode like timer continuous photo video 60 frames per second and things like that and of course video mode which is the maximum resolution of 3k so that's the uh, playback and settings options for the camera uh, actually not playback but live preview feedback and settings for the camera but when you select some uh, recorded footage and I'm going to search for something here for example this video which was filmed with this camera and of course being a 360 video you can look around you have some really nice options uh, you have the option to see it stabilized or not and beside that you can edit the video but uh, to do that first you need to download it so I'm now going to download this video locally to my mobile phone this takes a very short time it goes very fast and I'm on 2.4 uh, wireless because my phone uh, doesn't really like 5G wireless it works only with some select devices and the video is now downloaded so if I go to local I have this video now and I have this button here with this small man here and now I'm in editing mode and I can do various stuff like the video re-encoding so I can do something like this I say look here and then I move the time here on the video and then I want to look here and I say look here and then I move the time again and I say look here and now if I go back at the beginning of time and I play it back the app will automatically do the movement I have programmed it to do which is simply amazing so the camera uh, it's like being there and being rotated by a cameraman and it will do this very nice panning and tracking of my selected points and movements which is really nice and the best thing about this camera is that you can actually select in which way you want to watch and this can be done in every kind of moment of your video recording so it's just a matter of just filming you don't need to hold the camera stable you just move along with it and even if you put the camera somewhere fixed I'm going to put it here just like that now you can simply watch around as I'm finding this video from the video editing software, you can watch up, down, and maybe you can even see the fishes down there for me. 
and the camera it's stable. So this is what the what is called the reframe uh, technology and this thing is very nicely implemented and has a lot of benefits. So this is the reframing option and of course beside the reframing option you have the motion tracking option and that works in other cases I'm going to include an example right now And as you can see, that works also very nice. It's very easy to use. Uh, it's similar with this look here option. You just need to select here and set follow this. And of course, if that object moves in the video, the app will determine where this object will move through time and will follow it as long as it's possible to do that. So very nice feature. As you can see, it works very nice with objects, with persons, and it's very useful and uh, highly effective and has a very good effect so you can film a lot of things moving things you just place the camera somewhere film them and then you can follow so you can run around this camera and the camera will continue to follow you without needing someone to actually r rotate the camera to focus you and of course you get very smooth video because there's no shaking of the camera trying to follow the subject the camera is steady so it's only the subject that spins around the camera, so the result is nice and smooth. The app also provides some video editing options, uh, rather basic but very useful and it's very nice that you can do them on the phone, so on the go. So this is a 360 video taken from my drone uh, that will be uploaded uh, as a direct video on my YouTube channel, so you can see that. Uh, if you want to and if you go on to edit you have options such as filters so you can change the color the effects you have something like vivid or uh, overexpose underexpose uh, influence colors change colors black and white sepia and things like that so coloristic and uh, contrast improvements you have this beauty option which uh, also changes uh, how uh, tones of the colors change and it's very nice for picturing people uh, you can edit the sound you can change the sound and if you go to this edit option which is in the edit menu uh, you have an option here to cut from the videos the segments that you want to you have a slider there uh, and you can say that i want the video to be from this to this moment and then you just click on export and it will save a separate file uh, right from those start to finish marks. Uh, you can also uh, change settings here uh, Cancel Saving as a new file. All right, so I did a new file with those settings And you can also change things like gyro so you can look around by tilting the phone and uh, you can also change uh, The perspective view you can do a tiny planet from a drone just like that and of course this is live video and this is 3k video which works on my mobile phone and my mobile phone is not the greatest in the world not the high performance model it's a rather cheap mobile phone from china so the app is really nice it can do all of that and it works very nice uh, that's the app's fault if you can call it that way so the app is highly optimized and can do a lot of work even with lesser hardware which is very nice so i hope that you have enjoyed my review of this camera because 360 degree video cannot be combined with regular video i'm going to include some samples and some videos taken in 360 degree on my youtube channel i'm going to upload them separately because they cannot be included in this regular video uh, the technology for combining both types of video has not been invented until now, so maybe YouTube will come up with something 
like that in the future but until then you can watch all the samples i'm going to create a playlist with all the uploads and tests that i have done with the camera i'm going to add some here uh, a link or it's a small description button you can press on that and it will open a list with a lot of samples from the camera and more tests with it like image tracking and things like that and you can look around in my videos with the drone and hopefully i'm going to add even more footage in different situations and that will show you how the camera works of course i'm going to upload 360 degree photos because this camera actually takes very nice photos in 360 degree just like that so uh, you can always look around you can even zoom in the picture or zoom out and that's very nice and these pictures can only be uploaded to social networks such as facebook so you can uh, see some of these pictures on my uh, facebook page you can see them there if you want to so until next time bye bye